Welcome to Lubera, the Swiss fruit and berry plant producers and breeders. My name is Markus Kobbelt, I'm founder and breeder of Lubera and today I'm showing you our new Lubera Mundraub garden at the castle of Ippenburg in northern Germany. We just planted this garden, it's unbelievable. We just planted this garden about six weeks ago, beginning of May. Now we have 20th of June and it has grown fantastically. You see all the paradise gardens, 17 paradise gardens, and the whole garden, more than 100 meters, is starting with this shadow garden with a Hydrangea paniculata, with a two very nice Sambucus nigra, pink beauties, which have a columnar habit, and different other shadow plants. And then we are starting with a mixed garden of blueberries and rhododendron. And before all gardens, we have this step over, espalier trees. And they are just growing fantastically. We have trained them. And now they are growing like, like crazy. And they are growing the right way. The reason we have the trees like this is that they can grow forward and that we can fill the espalier in the next one or two years. And all competitors like this one were taking away to have the main growth in the main shoot. And all these apple trees here on this espalier and this step over from Herod Horticulture uh, are our Lubera varieties, Red Love and Paradise varieties. Here a garden with Rebus, different type of gooseberries, currants, black currants. Here a tea garden with tea roses, tea plants, camellia plants. Here you see the small tea plants. We will look and see if they are really growing. And of course also uh, rose varieties with nice hips. Here pointilla plants and uh, buck sea thorn plants in one garden. A garden with new shoots. So a uh, asparagus garden and a hop garden here. Eva's garden with different types of apple trees, malini trees, columnar apple trees, uh, compact apple trees, paradise apple trees from Lubera and also uh, hanging apple trees and of course red love apple trees, all full of apples. And different southern gardens Paradise Gardens with mulberries and uh, pomegranates here and here. And so all these gardens have grown fantastically in the last six weeks. And all the perennials which we were planting here in the forefront in this uh, small bed are growing fantastically and they will grow into the apple trees here. And here, the whole wall, it's a walled garden, we have planted more than 100 meters of espalier trees, different types of espalier trees, which we will train in the next months and years. Here, a prune tree with this fan espalier and different other types of espalier trees. Here, the berries in the berry ship. A very interesting combination is rhubarb and delidalias. Everything to eat, the delidalias. Here the variety, I think, Kennedy, together with normal rhubarb variety, which will stop growing in the summer. But in the forefront, we have also some varieties, especially the Livingston variety, which will grow especially good in summer and autumn. And you can have a good, a good, uh, a good uh, amount of stems for cooking also in summer autumn. It's the first autumn rhubarb found in UK and perhaps bred beginning of the 19th of the 20th century by Lather Burbank. We are sure that the genetics is going back to Lather Burbank's uh, variety in the earliest uh, in the early 20th century. Here we have an instant garden done by the Swiss garden writer Sabine Reber. She did this instant garden, two days for the show. 
It's a balcony garden, a terrace garden, very nice, and it's also a garden where you can pick your own fruit and vegetables. And I'm sure today evening, when we have finished the show, I will have a nice cigar in this fantastic uh, balcony garden here. And Sabine has potted different combinations. Here are some perennials together with a Maloney apple tree. And then the English way of potting uh, garden, garden dahlias with a, a one-year-old ornamental plants for the garden. So the, the dahlia plants will grow outside the other plants. And here we have a Malini, a coronal apple tree together with, uh, with uh, strawberries. Again, herbs together with a dahlia. And a rose, a red, red rose in a black pot, in the black pie iron pot. And of course, this plant of young children, a Maloney apple tree again, some other plants, and also a lowberry tree, a lowberry uh, raspberry, little red princess, together with this compact apple tree, Maloney tree, in this uh, Kinderwagen, a nice combination for this show, a showy combination. Here we have an English glass house in the middle from Alitex, in the middle of uh, the Lubera Mundraub garden at the castle of Ippenburg. Here we have some plants for sale. And then again, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, paradise gardens interpretations of the Paradise Garden here at the castle of Ippenburg. All with a Ilex crenata hedge around them. Here in a very nice combination of Oca, of Oxalis tuberosa, a very nice eatable plant we will have in our assortment next year, together with Delidalias. A very interesting combination. Here we have also so, some sweet potatoes. Perhaps this was a mistake. We should have planted them on a little wall or in a pot because it seems that uh, they have now too cold, not enough sun, so they are not really developing well. So next year we will change the way of planting sweet potatoes in this bed. So uh, perhaps we have also to plant some bigger plants to give them a better start before Oxalis and the Delidalias are developing. So you are also doing some mistakes in a garden like this. And you are learning from the mistakes as all gardeners too. Four berries together with some uh, uh, Peixo climbing roses from a wife. Here the variety Chast from my wife's rose breeding and Chast, the first flowers of Chast here in northern Germany. In southern Germany and Switzerland Chast is in full bloom at the moment. And the last three gardens here. A children garden here with compact fruit trees and lowberries. And here a, a separate, a room planted of, out of Malini fruit trees. And a early and late garden with a khaki plant and some first berries. Lonitra cerulea. You see, planted around the 1st of May, now at the 20th of June, six, seven weeks after planting, these 17 paradise gardens have grown like crazy and they are fantastically only six weeks after plantings. And all of these combinations only on a place with 2.5 by 2.5 meters can, done, can be done also in your garden. Hmm. Where have all the flowers gone? I know where. Here you go to Lubera Koyo K with all our breedings and thousands of more plants. Here you can inscribe to our YouTube channel and now, pick the flowers.